Hi everybody, welcome back to Quarantine Cooking with Krista and Lena. Today, what are we making, babe? I don't know. Meatloaf balls. Meatloaf balls. Meatloaf balls, AKA elegant meatloaf. Can you say elegant meatloaf? Alligator meatloaf. Alligator meatloaf. Um, please stop. Oh. So we had some technical difficulties. We started filming the whole thing and then my phone died and when i plugged it back in it did not save the video that we had already recorded so um i'm just gonna go through this recipe really quick uh you guys won't see all the steps but i'm sure you guys are smart and you can figure it out so the recipe calls for one and a half pounds of ground beef or ground turkey, whichever you prefer. Three to four slices of bread cubed, any kind of bread will work. Uh, but I find that the kind with the nuts isn't, you know, too good in this. So preferably white bread or wheat bread, just something that's not, that doesn't have oats or nuts on it. Um, this is the perfect opportunity to use the end of the bread because I don't know about you guys, but in our house that goes straight in the garbage. Um, it's And then a quarter cup of chopped onion, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Uh, the original recipe calls for three to four slices of Swiss cheese. However, I do not have any Swiss cheese on hand and I don't even have any sliced cheese on hand, except for, Ryder, what are you doing? except for American and I don't think that would taste very good in this so I just did one cup of shredded cheddar jack. I've never put cheddar in this recipe before so we'll see how it turns out but I love cheese so I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, and then also the original recipe calls for a quarter cup of chopped mushrooms. However my husband does not like mushrooms so I omit that when I am making it for him. Um, and then you also need one more lemon cut um, sliced. Uh, and that's just gonna be for garnish. Ryder, please, please stop. I love you, Minnie's. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna combine all those ingredients into a large bowl with your hands, because that's the fun part, of course. I am going to do And then that. you are going to shape them into balls that are about this size, right medium-sized balls. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have Minnie's, okay? Medium-sized, uh, you're gonna I'm shape gonna, them I'm into medium-sized balls. Okay? Okay. Ryder, you don't need gloves, baby, because you're not touching the meat. Okay? And then, um, so this recipe has two steps. Um, you have the step for the meatballs and then also for a sauce that you are going to top each ball with. Um, so. Now what? Our oven is already preheated to 350. Okay. So we're going to take these and put them in the oven for 20 minutes. Um, and then we're going to make the barbecue sauce that goes on top. Um, so these are going to bake for 20 minutes and then you're going to take them out. You're going to top each sauce with a, each sauce, each meatloaf ball with a generous amount of, of sauce and then top with a slice of lemon and then you are going to bake for an additional 45 minutes um as i was i i said earlier but it got deleted um these are very hearty and filling so i tend to only um serve them with some type of a steamed vegetable um so tonight we'll be doing steamed broccoli which is writer's favorite and his dad likes some type of sauce normally with his vegetables. So if I'm not making an aioli, balsamic aioli, like I did in one of our other videos, I will make hollandaise sauce. But I'm not fancy. I don't make it from scratch. I know how to, but nobody has time for that. So I just get the nor um, packet and add the butter and the milk or whatever it calls for and just be done. So these are gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes and then we're gonna take them out and top them with sauce. Excuse me, Ryder. I'm just gonna get the timer. Are you gonna get the timer? Yeah. Okay, get the timer. Here, let's move this picture. Okay, push this button for 20 minutes. Now push start. Good job. Okay, 
So we've got 20 minutes on the clock. Yeah. And now we're gonna make our sauce. Yeah. Okay. So this sauce is really good. Um, it's a little bit on the sweeter and um, spicy side. Spicy not as in like heat hot, but like spices. Um, so we're gonna start with one cup of ketchup. Good job. Ketchup. Hang on, mommy's got to get the spatula. Oh, can I eat it? No, you can't eat it. You want me? You love ketchup, huh? You just want to eat ketchup by itself? Yeah. Yuck. So that needs to come out different. Okay. One cup of ketchup, ah. and then a third of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, and then one quarter of a teaspoon each of allspice and um, ground cloves. Can you put that in? Okay, and then one teaspoon of ground mustard. Good job. And now we're gonna mix all that together. Yep. really makes um, like a sweet and tangy kind of um, barbecue sauce. If you don't like um, cloves or allspice, um, you could just top it with whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is, but I feel like this really makes this dish. So um, now that that's done, um, we are no, going to no, wait no, no, until the no. time. What, baby? What, what? It's okay. We're gonna wait until the timer goes off, take the meatloaf balls out, smother them in sauce, add a beautiful lemon slice to each, to the top of each one, and then we will bake for an additional 45 minutes and then it'll be time to eat. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, as soon as our meatloaf balls are ready to come out, we will be back. Okay, Bye. thanks guys, bye! Hello everybody, welcome Bye. back! So our timer just went off, so I'm gonna take the meatloaf balls out of the oven. And Ryder, you're gonna be there. What? It's, it's okay, sweetheart. You don't need to freak out. Okay, we're gonna take our meatloaf balls out of the oven, and Ryder, you're gonna be very careful not to touch it, right? Because it's very hot. Okay? Okay, so they look about like that right now. So now we're gonna take. Some of our sauce and we're gonna pour it on top of each ball and Ryder mommy's gonna have you put the lemon slices on okay and it's always good to have a little bit of extra sauce at the end because when these bake, it does tend to drizzle down the sides and... I mean, you want these bad boys smothered. What? Duh. Okay. So now, Ryder, don't touch the pan, okay? I want you to take a lemon slice and put it on top, but don't, don't touch the pan, okay? Do you want Mommy to do this? Yeah. Okay, Mommy will do it. Can I do it? Okay, put it on top of that one. Good job. Ah! They are doing it. Here. Ah, this one is all broken. It's okay. It's okay. Here. Put it on top of that one. Uh -oh. Okay, mommy's. Oh, mommy actually cut the exact right amount of lemon. I didn't even realize it. 
Okay, so now these are gonna go back in the oven for an additional 45 minutes. Um, I'd say 30 to 45 minutes, you wanna check for doneness. I did make these rather smaller than I normally do, so it might take um, a little less than 45 minutes, so. And I've got my hollandaise sauce going. Um, this is just, we got like a big professional um, container of it from Costco. Whoa, I'm dropping things. Um, oh, geez. Okay, um, we got like a big tub of it from Costco the powder and this is actually their professional one and so you don't need to use milk you only need butter and water but it doesn't give you instructions for single servings it only gives you instructions for a whole container which is 3.4 pounds of hollandaise sauce or half um sorry 1.8 gallons or one quart and we definitely don't need that much. So if you get this from Costco, I just did half a stick of butter, three tablespoons of the powder, and then about a little under a cup of water. And then just put it on low, um, and then just whisk it, just whisk it continuously until it bubbles and then let it thicken up and then just keep it on low until you're ready to eat. Um, so that's going to do it for now. We will be back, uh, when everything is done cooking and we'll get, when we are ready to plate our dishes. So Ryder, come here. Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard him, but he says goodbye. Goodbye. Say, get up here. Get up here. Say, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, bye. We'll be back. Okay, hi everybody, we're back. Ryder, what did, what did you want to tell everybody? Come here. Um, Come here. What did you want to say? Um, I'm subscribed. No, you you what did you what did you want to say? I don't know. How come you haven't subscribed yet? Go. I haven't subscribed yet. Okay, he's saying, how come you haven't subscribed yet? Because I'm just so cute. Okay, so um I'm just going to make a plate real quick so you guys can see what everything looks like. And then we are going to sit down to eat. Uh, let's see here. I just want everybody my belly. guys and there you have it our beautiful meatloaf balls and our steamed broccoli with hollandaise sauce so um please let us know if you guys try this recipe we would love to get your thoughts um that's gonna do it for us today so as always uh Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands a lot, be kind, and love your babies. Right, Ryder? Yeah. We love our babies, right? Give me a smooch. I love you. And just bye. Oh, and, and don't forget to subscribe, right? And press the button. Bye. And push the like button, he says. Bye, everybody.